Today, I'm going to show you how to enable rich previews of your shared links using Open Graph. What is up guys? So today, like I mentioned, I am going to be teaching you how to enable rich previews of your shared links using Open Graph. So what is a rich preview? Well, you know how when you text a link to somebody, it looks like this? Well, that's not a rich preview. A rich preview looks like this. Now, this is much better than not having a rich preview because first of all, it takes up more real estate. You get to have an image there and the image can be whatever you want. And you can set your title there as well. And it's something super simple to do that everyone should be doing. And another great feature about adding this to your website is whenever someone shares a page that has this code on it onto Facebook, it's going to make it look very similar. Instead of just being the URL or maybe like a tiny, tiny little card, uh, what's actually going to happen is it's going to be a very large card that's going to take up a lot of that scrolling space. And you're going to have a nice large card image that again will be whatever you choose. And your title, which will also be whatever you choose. Your title is limited to around 144 characters, I think. I'm not 100% sure on what that character limit is. And it's not so much limiting the characters as what you can type and put there, but it will put an ellipses at the end of those characters, whatever that limit is. So anyways, this is something so simple to do, and I'm also going to show you how to enable this for Twitter, because for Twitter you need to add a couple more lines of code, but it's super simple to do. And if you don't know what Open Graph is, I will post a link to the Open Graph website in the bio down below. It's something really simple to wrap your mind around. It's nothing complicated. Facebook created it years ago, and now it's used in so many places. So let's just jump into it so I can show you how I went from this to this. All right, so I have my website up right here, and this is my ZacharyNewton.me website. Uh, you can see right here. Um, and I'm going to show you how we're going to go ahead and add these open graph tags to this website so we can get that rich preview. Now these open graph tags are essentially just telling other browsers and other applications a little bit about what this website is. Uh, you know, it's giving a description, a title, uh, a good image for the user to go by and the URL. So it's just to describe to those other websites and applications what uh, they are looking at. So before I go ahead and add those tags for you, let's go ahead and just show you real quick what this looks like right now when I send it to myself. This right here is what it looks like. We have just the title and the URL. So to go in here and get those tags in and added, it's going to be very simple. All we need to go ahead and do is add a few meta tags. We're going to go meta property and this first one is going to be og colon title and then we're going to go ahead and set the content equal to uh, let's go zachary uh, newton uh, hyphen designer developer youtuber podcaster just like that. Let me go ahead and close this off. So, whoops, there. So this is just giving uh, those other webs uh, and applications a title to go by and load. So let's go ahead and get our image in here. It's going to be another meta tag with the property equal to open well, OG uh, colon image. And then here we're going to set the content to be a absolute URL to that image that we want. So it's going to be HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash Zachary Newton dot me forward slash hero dot JPG. And we can go ahead and close this off here just like that. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and add two more short ones just to let those uh, browsers know what this really is. So we're going to go meta property equals OG colon type and we're going to set the content for this equal to website and we can go ahead and close that off and let's go ahead and add one last one for now. Uh, th these are four required ones uh, just so you are aware. So this last required one we're going to go property uh, property OG 
colon URL. And in this content, we are going to give it the URL to this website, just like that. So we'll close that one off and that is it. So this is going to work for rich preview in a lot of situations, Facebook sending the message uh, through your through a text message, anything like that. Uh, but to get this to work on Twitter in the same way that it will work on Facebook, we need to go ahead and add two more lines of code. So these are gonna be just two more meta tags. We're gonna go meta, but instead of property, these are gonna be name. So this name, uh, that's not name, name is going to be equal to, instead of OG, it's gonna be equal to Twitter colon. Uh, let's go ahead and write card and then in the content, it's going to be uh, summary underscore large underscore uh, image. And we can close that off. And so this is telling Twitter to go ahead and use their large uh, summary image card for this website when it is shared on Twitter. And the last one we're going to go ahead and add is meta name equals Twitter site and the content in this is not going to be equal to the URL it's actually going to be equal to the Twitter handle for uh, your uh, Twitter profile and save so that's it let's go ahead and push this up to the server and then I will show you uh, what this looks like when you send it with rich preview all right, so let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. We're going to come back here and I'm just going to send that same URL to myself and boom, there you go. You have this big image that we have set up, the title that we set and all of the other things, all the, the type, the URL, the Twitter card and site, those are more for those browsers and those applications to figure out what it is actually looking at. So that's all you need to do to go ahead and add these open graph tags to get that rich preview on your website when somebody shares your link. All right, guys, that's it. That's all you need to do to get your rich preview up and running. It's just a few lines of code, a few meta tags. That's it. Nothing complicated at all. If you have any questions, be sure to ask them in the comments down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like the videos that I'm creating on this channel, head on over to my Patreon account at patreon.com forward slash Zachary Newton, where you can help support this channel and help me create better videos every week. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.